Welcome back, everybody. 15 after the hour, and today we go behind the headlines, taking a look at a new poll that came up on Huffington Post where we find smoking pot in a legal state should not cost you your job. I'm, I'm so excited about this news. By a three-to-one margin, Americans polled recently by Huffington Post and YouGov stated that the use of marijuana by adults in a state where marijuana is legal should not be a basis for firing an employee. Almost two-thirds of the poll respondents, about 64%, found it unacceptable to fire a marijuana user solely for after-hours pot smoking. Those who found it acceptable numbered only 22%, with 14% in the not sure category. Thus, for every person who thinks it's okay to fire a pot smoker, there are nearly three who find it unacceptable. And even when the qualifier of in a legal marijuana state is removed from the question of whether or not it's acceptable to fire people for their off-the-clock pot use, more people found it unacceptable than acceptable. A plurality of 45% said the cannabis consumers should be able to keep their jobs even if marijuana use is illegal. Compared to 32% who think it's okay to fire a pot smoker in a prohibition state and another 23% who were not sure. Now if you look into the demographics of this, the poll results for firing pot smokers in the illegal states flips if you just look at Republican respondents. A plurality of Republicans, 41%, would allow the firing of cannabis consumers with less than a third, 32%, who would protect pot smokers jobs. However, when pollsters add in the in a legal marijuana state, even Republicans are against the termination of workers for their legal marijuana use at nearly the same margins as the general population. Fully 62% of Republicans would find it unacceptable to fire a toker in Washington or Colorado or any state that legalizes, with just over a quarter, 27%, who support firing employees for their off-hours legal pot use. Now, if you break this down by age groups, every demographic found majorities in support of protecting employment rights for cannabis consumers in legal states. With middle-aged people, age 45 to 64, their support was at a 4 to 1 margin, 73% finding firing uh, pot smokers for off-the-clock work uh, use was unacceptable versus 18 percent who didn't find it unacceptable. Now the poll also asked whether people should be fired for their after-hours use of alcohol and guess what it came in at the same number 64 percent of the people said you shouldn't be able to fire a drinker for off-hours drinking compared to 22 percent who said it was okay to. So if the numbers for marijuana smoking and for alcohol drinking are the same if you're in a legal state, doesn't that show us that all this time we've been doing this drug testing and, and firing employees and not hiring employees because they fail a drug test for marijuana was really more about cultural acceptability and legality than it ever was about workplace safety and productivity? It seems pretty clear to me, and I want to applaud the people of America for coming to their senses on this and realizing that even in an illegal state, what a person is doing after hours is none ya. It's none of an employer's business what we're doing after hours, so long as we show up to work sober, work hard, be productive, be good employees, follow our responsibilities, and then if we go home at night and want to drink a six-pack of beer or load up a bowl, that's our right. And so long as it's not harming anyone in the workplace, we should be able to keep our jobs. This is amazing to me, and soon enough, we'll bring everyone around to this opinion that people should be left alone and allowed to do what they do in the privacy of their own homes. Their time off hours is up to them. Thank you, America. Thank you, Huffington Post, for this amazing poll. And this should just provide even more pressure against the employers in Colorado and Washington State, Seattle Seahawks, Denver Broncos, I'm looking at you, for firing their employees that use pot off hours legally in those states. All right, speaking of using pot... <laughs>
Hey, it's 20 after. Time for us to take a break. I hope you get to enjoy some. When we come back, we'll have our daily toker tunes with Gordon Green. Stick around. Oh, have you ever met that funny reefer man? A reefer man. Have you ever met that funny reefer man? A reefer man. If he said he swam to China.